Manifestation is a vibration in of itself, and when you tap into the exact vibration of it, that's when things really begin to change. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron, and I help people expand their consciousness. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you and revealing to you the exact vibration of manifestation and show you how you can tap into it instantly each day so that your reality begins to change in a very powerful way. And this has to do with understanding that first off, the emotions in our body that we want to feel when we've obtained some level of manifestation, they already exist. So in a way, we are like vibrational tuning forks walking around that are getting a direct reflection of the frequency we are putting out. Now the thing is, is many times we are waiting for the external to change and then we say, okay, then I'll feel as if it's already happening. And because we have that mindset, it's almost like I'll see it, well, I'll uh, believe it when I see it, it's going the reverse way when instead it's you'll see it when you believe it. So that's the key to this process. And even beyond believing it, what I promote is an idea called be as if. It's more power, it's much more powerful than act as if. And act as if is something you do. If you are an actor, you might go, or an actress, you might go, you might act in a play, you might act in a movie, or actress in a movie, or whatever the term we use, and then you might go home at the end of the day and be you. However, it's something you do for a period of time. When you are being as if, you are being in the vibrational frequency you prefer, and then that becomes your reality. That's exactly what I did from shifting my identity from being a nine to fiver, who I actually used to work, I'm at this place called Palms right now, I don't know if you can see this right over here, but I used to work, let me see if I could zoom in, I don't know, oh yeah. I used to work at that hotel right there. That's where I used to work. And I had that nine to five job, that I had for five years, and I was uh, working it, and I saw myself, my self-image, my identity, my thoughts, my feelings, and my actions all linked up to selling women's shoes at Barney's New York, which is where I worked. And it was a direct reflection of what I was getting. But then what I said is I acknowledged that, I realized that, hey, I believe I have to work this job because I have to pay bills. There was a certain story there about thinking that that's what I had to do. Then what happened is I started to simply be the version of me that was the full-time YouTuber, even though I didn't have that as a reflection of my life. I was, okay, if I was being as if, I was making videos every single day, and over time, that became my reality. It's not like after I made five videos, five days in a row, then everything just popped off. It took weeks and weeks. However, eventually, a video started to go, and then my channel started to grow, and then I started to realize this is who I am now. This is my reality, and I literally told myself, I'm going to make videos every single day for a year no matter what. That is my new identity. I'm going to be that version of me. If I was acting, I would have done it and then I would have gone back once I saw, okay, this role is over, it's getting a little bit tiring. But if anything you're going to be, like they say, you get in life a reflection of who you are being. Who you are being, that's where the power is. It's also attention at the being level. Being level is also about your passion. It's easy for me to make videos every day. I still make videos every day and I don't even have to. I could probably make videos uh, every other day or a couple times a week and, be, and just be fine, but this is who I am. So when you do things because it's who you are, that's when everything begins to change. So our vibration, the easiest way to think about it, it's how we think, feel, and act. Now the vibration of your manifestation is how is that version of you thinking, feeling, and acting? And can you link up your current thoughts, feelings, and emotions to, and actions to that version of you now and simply decide that's who you are now? Because if you, as this, in a way, vibrational antenna, are walking around, putting out that frequency, and you don't need the external to reflect back something new, and I'll, I'll talk more about that in a minute, then eventually reality can begin to change. Now the reason I say that, not need reality change because what a lot of people might do is they may like imagine I started making YouTube videos every day and then I just kept checking. I kept checking the stats. I kept checking the stats. I kept checking the stats and then I kept getting let down. I was like, okay, this isn't working. It's not working. It's not working. Well, then what vibration am I putting out? It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. You, the key to this is living in the vibration of the wish being fulfilled. 
like Neville Goddard's work, living in the end. Live as if it's already here by being happy with where you currently are. Don't resist the present moment. If you say, I want that over there, you vibrationally say, I currently don't have it. I currently lack it, but I want it. And remember, the universe always tells you yes. So you say, I want it. The universe says yes. Yeah, you do want it. The vibe, you say, I don't have it and I want it. The universe says, yeah, you're right. You don't have it and you want it. It's, it is reflecting back that to you. But if you say, I am it, and I don't, it doesn't matter if right now in this reality I don't see it, you instead focus on being that version of you, reality will eventually begin to shift. But you have to trust in that vision. That's exactly what I did with being on YouTube. And even when I think to one of the first times I ever had a, uh, something that proved to me that manifestation is real, in a way, like I was, I, I already had saw the movie The Secret, which I know a lot of people do. They watch the movie The Secret and they get all excited and hyped up. This is back in like 2011, 2012, when I first started learning about, I watched The Secret before that, I think like 2008, 2007 or something like that. Something like that. My mom, my mom made me watch it. And I was like, no, I don't want to watch it. It's like, whoa, I got sucked in. And it, it just planted a seed and for years I didn't do anything with it. But then I was working at that job I was actually working at Nordstrom's, which is right over there, Nordstrom's in women's shoes, and uh, before I went to Barney's. And when I was there, that's when I was learning about the law of attraction. It was really cool. Every single day I went in, I could see a direct reflection of my thoughts, feelings, and actions to the kind of results I'd get, because you start at zero every day, and it's a commission sales-based job. And one day I went in and I said, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. This is exactly what I did, by the way. I was uh, living at this house with my, um, I was with my mom and I was living with my mom, my brother, my sister, South Las Vegas. And I remember um, I had a mirror in my room and what I did is I wrote on the mirror that today I'm going to sell $8,635. And it was right around, there. it was like six, it was 8,630 or it was 8,600 and something. And I wrote that on the mirror. Now, let me give you a little bit of a basis. Working there, an average day, you got 10% commission. An average day was probably 2,500 a day. And the most I'd ever sold at that point was probably about 6,000 in one day. And that's like a really lucky day or a day that um, was very, very busy and you work really, really hard for it. You know, an average though, between 1,500 to 25 to three grand a day, which isn't bad, you know, making 150 to $300 a day on average. And I was, you know, I was in my 20s and I was like, I was like, oh, so excited to be working there, you know? And I was in salon shoes, which is like designer women's shoes. I was like, okay, today I'm gonna do more than I've ever done before. This will really show to me that this whole manifestation thing works. Now, I didn't need it to show me that it works. I believed and acted and was as if, like I was being as if that was my day. So I wrote down 8,635 on a mirror with one of those uh, markers. And I said, I sold this much today. I imagined myself at the end of the day coming home feeling gratitude because I sold that much. I wrote it on the mirror and I meditated and I imagined me doing that. I imagined me helping customers. I imagined people being happy. I imagined the value to add to other people. And that was, that was my vision for that day. And this is what I simply did. I simply knew that somehow that would come to fruition and I made a rule with myself. No matter what happened in the first part of the day, I was going to believe in that vision. I was going to believe that that was the case. And it was on like, it was on a busier, not at night, like out of the days of the week, normally the busy days were like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was on like a Sunday. It was on a, a decent day, but not like necessarily the best day. So I went into work that day. I think I went in at like noon or something like that. Yeah, I did. I went in at noon or one. It was one of the later shifts because normally you can either work nine to five or like noon to, to uh, all right, on a Sunday, I think we closed at seven. It was like one of that, it was like that. So I worked from like 12 to seven or 11 to seven. And I went in and when I went in, I started helping customers. I had that vision in my back, I, or in, in the back of my mind, and I started helping customers. And for the first about two hours, there was, there was not many customers at all, which is sometimes kind of typical on a Sunday. Sometimes people don't start getting out till two or three, you know, because they, they party the night before, you know, this is Las Vegas. However, there wasn't, it wasn't that busy. I wasn't getting necessarily that, great, you know, great of customers that were like making my day or anything. But I, I still held in that vision. I just simply knew that that was something that could happen, that I could sell that much, $8,635. So then I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just go take a breather. I'm gonna go to uh, lunch. I went and took like a, an hour long break. 
I went to the E bar, which is right outside, and I just had uh, some coffee. That's when I back in the day when I used to drink coffee, and I had like a croissant or a little croissant sandwich thing. Then I come back, and when I came back, I just got into the flow. I started helping customers, and but until when I got back, I was at like 1,500. It was like it was like an average day, you know, two or three hours into the day, you'd be at like 1,500, you know. Um, so I was there, and then what I did is I was helping customers, and I got into this flow. I started getting pretty busy. I had to have a couple customers at a time, and then I got into the flow, and then I think I may have got to like 35 to 4,000 at like four or five o'clock. Still pretty far away though. Um, still like halfway there, and then we're getting closer towards the end. Then what happens is this guy named Philip, who I used to work with, he comes over to me, and he was off at five. He picked up this customer who was from uh, China, I believe, or something like that. She didn't speak any English. He's like, hey, Aaron, can you pick up this customer for me? Because I'm going to, um, I, need, I need to go home. He's like, kids and family. He's like, I need to go home. I have something to do with my kids. I was like, um, I already had a customer. And I was like, I just simply trusted the process. I knew that saying yes was going to be something that if I just trust this process, that who knows what could happen. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll take, it. I'll take on the customer. Took on the customer. This lady walked around picked out every single shoe, would barely try it on, and then say, I'll take it. Or not even say, okay, this one, okay, this one, okay, this one. And, it, and that ended up in of itself being like a four or $5,000 sale. And that was like one of my last customers. I was so busy helping her and ringing her up that by the end of the day, I go and check my number, which is in the computer system, and no joke, it was 8,600 and some odd dollars. It was within $50 of that exact goal that I wrote on my mirror in my room. And it was, it was, um, it was something I almost forgot about because I got so much into the flow. I was so much into that, uh, that vibration of it. And that to me showed me that there's something here. There's something, and I, I didn't need it though for me to believe in it. It was more so I, I just, I went all into the process, into that vibration and trusted it. And then that was the vibration of the reality that I experienced. It was trusting that vision, saying yes to that. You know, I've, I've had many stories actually of helping customers um, and simply giving it a positive meaning of when I picked up a certain customer, then, then buying so much. Um, there was another time as well when I was helping a customer, one more quick little story. And uh, this guy I used to work with, <clears throat> he, was, uh, he was somebody, it was at Barney's actually, and he was helping, he's like from New York, he uh, has like an Instagram following, and all he does is sit in the back all day and sell via his Instagram account. And he does very well with that. Whereas I would mainly sell by being on the floor, the sales floor. I didn't like build social media around shoes or anything because it wasn't necessarily my passion, it's his passion. Um, one day, he came in, or uh, we were both standing on the sales floor, and this lady comes up, and um, she had like kind of an attitude. She was with her 90-year-old <clears throat> like grand or mom, and she was like this New Yorker with like a, you know a lot of New Yorkers come in to Bonnie's New York because they're used to the Bonnie's New York in New York. You know what I mean? And she was like very adamant. She was like, "Okay, my mom here, <clears throat> she wants to try on like we need everything you have in a seven narrow." Now, first off, Nord Nordstrom's has like this narrow has like narrow options because. Nordstrom's caves to everyone. Barney's New York's designer shoes, there's no narrows, really. There's some brands that run a little narrow, but it's mainly expensive shoes that aren't comfortable. And when you have a 90-year-old woman, sometimes finding a comfortable designer shoe can be a little challenging. So he has the customer, and he doesn't want the customer. He says, Aaron, can you help them? And he put me on the spot in front of the customer. And honestly, normally I'd say no, because it's almost like he's trying to dump a customer that's gonna take a lot of work and may not buy anything on me. At least that's normally the perspective. She says, Aaron, can you take these customers? Why don't you help these customers? And in front of the customers, I was like, okay. So I go and start helping the customers. And as I'm going to the back to grab them shoes, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna treat this as if like, it's an amazing thing. I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a very good thing. I go into the back, I come out, and I'm helping the customers, and I'm really connecting with them, even though, you know, I actually like a lot of New Yorkers because they're very blunt and to the point. Um, and I ended up connecting with this lady who was like a lawyer in New York and her mom, and they ended up buying like $5,000 worth. It ended up being a very, very good sale. And I remember going to the back, ring it because that was where the cashier was, and I was ringing it up. He's like, whoa, they're getting all of that, and he then regretted it. But the key to that is always trusting in the vision and giving it the meaning that you choose to give it. I believe if I would have given it a bad meaning and said, oh, this is horrible, now I have to help these customers and gone with that story, I wouldn't have sold nearly that much. But because I was in a high vibe and I gave it a positive meaning, that's the key. So the key to this video is the exact 
the exact vision of your manifestation has to, and the exact vibration of your manifestation is how do you think, feel, and act, and are you trusting in the vision? This is what I highly recommend you do. What I recommend you do is every single day for 10 minutes a day, tap into the gratitude. Gratitude is the vibration of manifestation. When you tap into gratitude, you're tapping into a reality where you already have it vibrationally. So what do you already have in your reality that you are grateful for? When you're able to focus on that, you then align with the reality of that vibration. And then what you do is you put things that maybe you don't currently have that you are, vi that you are grateful for. So what I would do is I would imagine that I am grateful for X, Y, Z, and I could even do that now. Maybe I, you know, I'm getting ready to do live events and stuff. I'm grateful for having amazing live events that helps people to transform their lives. I can imagine that for 10 minutes a day, tap into that vibrational reality, knowing that vibration already exists. And by downloading that vibration, I then begin to tap into that reality. So the thing I want to encourage you to do is for 10 minutes a day, tap into gratitude, put your hands over your heart and focus on things you already have. And then after you focus on things you already have, think of things you want in your life and think of those and feel it as if it's already happening. But then even more than that, do something every single day that wires in you being as if. Being as if. I make a video every single day because that is wiring in that being as if vibration. What you do every single day compounds over time. It's like you could drink a little bit of soda today, it won't have much difference on your life. But if you drink a, a glass, a 12 ounce of soda every day for the next year, that's hundreds of pounds of corn syrup inside of your body. You see, we don't realize it in the day, <clears throat> but over time, it, it, it has an effect. I make videos every single day because it's a part of who I am. Now, one thing that I have that will really help is a new meditation. It's living in the end meditation that you can check out by linking below, by the link below. Listen to that meditation for 21 days and watch how your life begins to change. You have to stay focused on this vision and the vision of you living in that reality, in that gratitude. That's the key to this whole entire process. So listen to that meditation for 21 days. Watch how your life begins to change. Other than that, hope you enjoyed this video. Peace, much love, and namaste.